If you clicked on this video, then that means you probably watch a lot of TikTok. Today, we're going to be trying out a bunch of overhyped products to seeing if they are worth the hype or not. Sometimes a product is so hyped up that you have these high expectations, and then when you try the product, it might still be good, but you're a little disappointed because there's just so much promotion around it. So that's what we're going to be figuring out today. Now, all of these products are new except for one. There's one product in here that I have used a lot on camera and off camera, and that is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Foundation. And paired with this foundation, I'm going to be trying the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge. This went viral, I believe, in 2020 or 2021. This brand in general has just blown up and taken over Instagram, TikTok, everything. Okay, so let's see what the sponge looks like dry, and then I'm going to go wet it so we can see the difference. I've heard it expands a lot. Okay, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's literally a marshmallow. It's super soft. The Eagle Tool sponge and the Real Technique sponge are both my favorite sponges. I have to say so far, this is a lot softer. This is the sponge dry. Okay, and this is the sponge wet. This honestly looks like the South House that my husband orders. There's clearly a big difference between sizes. Going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow first. I have used this so many times, I already have my opinion on this. And not to spoil it, but it's obviously good if I keep using it. I love that it's white, but part of me really doesn't want to ruin this, but here we go. I feel like my face is getting the softest, most gentle hug ever. It does a really good job at blending out the product. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is better than what I already use, but I would say it's the same. Like it has the same quality as the Real Techniques or Equal Tools. Now, I'm not someone who is super picky about sponges. I just don't like the microfiber, like velvet, sponges, whatever they're called, I think they're velvet sponges. I think it did a really good job. I mean, it looks smooth. It didn't absorb too much product. As you can see with the e.l.f. Halo Glow, it is basically a glow from within, a skin tint. You can wear it on its own. You can put product over it. It's not gonna cover up all your imperfections. I have rosacea, I have acne prone skin. I'm also in the middle of purging because of a skin treatment that I'm starting to do again. But I think we can all admit that it calmed down a lot of my redness and it evened out most of my skin tone. I guess we're on theme today. There's a lot of e.l.f. and there's a lot of their Halo Glow line. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand. I have heard mixed reviews on this, so I'm very interested to see if this is overhyped or not. We're gonna have to see if this is buildable because the coverage seems very light. This is the side with the Halo Glow Contour Wand on, and this is the side without. <laughs> Me just, oh my gosh, my baby hairs are being insane today. You know what? I feel like because it's their Halo Glow line, I feel like that's why it's not as full coverage, but I have to say it's very, very buildable. So I'm gonna finish the other side of my face and blend everything because it's looking a little crazy on my forehead and my hairline, and then I'll be right back. What are we thinking? <laughs> How do we think this looks? Does it look good or not? I definitely think I used too much. I went from using a little bit to maybe too much, but I don't know, I like the shade on me, so that's good. The formula was easier to blend than I expected because again, I've heard mixed reviews. And in my opinion, I like when a product is capable of being buildable without being blotchy or anything like that because some people want the product to look more subtle on them and some people would like to build it up. So I like when there's an option like that. For blush, we have another e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in the shade Dusty Rose. I'm actually surprised that I was able to get my hands on this. I did get an Ulta gift card for Christmas. And knowing that this just launched, I was very shocked that they had all of them left in stock on the Ulta website. So this is what it looks like. You do get a lot of product, although it seems small. Liquid blushes usually tend to last a long time. A little usually goes a long way. Mm. 
That is gorgeous. The fact that I only needed two dots and this is really pigmented and blends easily. I'm smelling a, I'm smelling a rare beauty dupe. <laughs> Not everyone can afford to buy it in general or on the regular, so it's really nice to have an affordable option. Moving on, another e.l.f. product. I promise that not all of these overhyped products are going to be e.l.f., but e.l.f. has just been killing it. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Highlight Wand, and this is in the shade Champagne Campaign. It's gonna be really good, or it's gonna be really bad. I'm sure some people use their fingers, but I'm just using a stippling brush. Ooh. Guys, e.l.f. is not playing. Like, they are not. Somebody pissed them off. In my opinion, I feel like e.l.f. has always been good. I've been using e.l.f. since the beginning of time, but I can't pretend that they haven't been upping it and upping it. I love that the highlight is buildable and I love, oh, it just, it looks good. Like it's not streaky. It doesn't emphasize my texture. Okay, so I did go off camera and I put some setting powder on, but I did not put any powder products on top of the products that I tried in this video. That way we can see how they really look. I just went in my T-zone. Now we are moving on to mascara and it's going to be a battle. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara, which went infamously viral, like infam- yeah, I guess so. Was it the mascara's fault though? Once the hype died down, I went out and bought it because I'm late to everything, but also I was genuinely very curious, is it good or not? Is it and then we have a mascara that I don't think has gone viral, but it's very, very popular and very recommended. This is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Mascara. Is their mini, it's not their full size. By the way, I just, I am a sucker for packaging, obviously, and I love all of Rare Beauty's packaging. I have heard all good things about this, so I was thinking, Let's try the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara first. Okay, so the wand is not a cylinder shape. It's definitely flat with a little bit of a curve. I'm going to give you guys a close-up of what my lash is looking like. This eye has no mascara on it and I just put the telescopic mascara on. I hope you guys can tell on camera, but my lashes, oh my gosh. I don't even know what this mascara claims to be, but it is very darkening and very lengthening. Now on the other eye, we're gonna use the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Mascara. What I immediately notice about this mascara is it is very volumizing, very wispy. So total opposite of what we just tried. Looking at these mascaras side by side, I definitely enjoy both. It just depends what you want. But they're both very flattering. And here, I'll give you guys a side by side. So we have Rare Beauty on this side and L'Oreal on this side. And the last products that I have to try out are lip products. I am very, very excited for both of these. And yes, I will be trying both of these on my lips. The first product that I'm going to try, which I know you guys are so excited to see. And finally, this is the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip. And this is in the shade Mist Call. The packaging is just straight up giving summertime vibes. And I'm totally here for that. Definitely have to ooh, pull a little bit because she's a little thick. And that's okay, me too. Ooh, it smells. Wait, do they have like exact scents? It smells almost like, not real strawberries, but almost like candy, sweet, fake strawberries, you know? Oh, it smells so good. It's very faint, it's not overbearing. Like you're not gonna smell it unless you put your nose up to it. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous and my lips feel really good. My, this feels really good. It's really comfortable. I love how natural this is. This is definitely going to be a product that I put in my purse literally as of today and I'm gonna use this all the time. Sadly, I have to wipe it off because we have one more product to try. Clarence, I have heard so many people on TikTok rave about Clarence. This is their natural lip perfector in the shade six. Because I've never tried Clarence before, I'm gonna be honest, when I went to the store and picked this out, I picked it out purely off of aesthetic. 
It smells so good, guys. I don't know, it's like very faint. Almost like a caramel, like very faint caramel smell. It's like a balmy tint, almost like a faint gloss feeling, but it's definitely not a gloss and it's not an oil. It does feel very nourishing and it has some color to it. It has more color than the next one, which makes sense. The next one is an oil. It's not gonna hold that much. This is another product that is definitely going to get thrown in my purse today because I'm gonna use this all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to go over each product and quickly let you guys know if I think it's overhyped or if it's just a really good product, but it didn't need to be hyped up that much. The Elf Halo Glow is definitely not overhyped. I love this so much and I think that it's very important to have affordable dupes. The Marshmallow Beauty Sponge by Coco Cosmetics. I really enjoyed this now. I'm gonna say with the quality, do I think the quality of the sponge was overhyped? Yes, but I do think because of the aesthetic of the sponge and the creativity that went into the creation of the sponge, I do believe that it deserved to be hyped up and go viral because it really Really, really went viral. I think it went viral actually a few times. I believe that Chloe deserved that moment. She created something that was very creative, very new. It's very soft, high quality. It's a sponge, so I don't think any sponge needs to be overhyped, but I do believe that Chloe and Coco Cosmetics deserve this moment. And again, she brought something new and fresh to the beauty industry, so yes, I believe that the aesthetic and the newness of this product deserve to be hyped up. Okay, let's talk about the Elf Halo Glow Beauty Wands, the contour and the highlight. I very much enjoy these products. They look very stunning. I love that they're buildable. Honestly, they blended really well for me. They weren't patchy for me. I had so much fun playing with these and I definitely think that these are gonna become a part of my everyday makeup routine. However, I do think they're a little overhyped. I do love that it is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Wands. However, I think that products can be good, but they don't always need to be overhyped. Okay, let's get into the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. This was stunning. I definitely believe that these deserve the hype. These are a dupe, basically, for the Rare Beauty blushes. I definitely think this deserves a hype. It's so affordable. It's so easy to work with. And honestly, I think that these are some of the best liquid blushes in the drugstore game. This really impressed me. Okay, now talking about the L'Oreal Telescope Lift Mascara. This looks stunning. I can't stop looking at my eyes, seriously. It made my lashes so long and so dark while still looking natural, but a little glam. I really love this. I could actually see myself repurchasing this, not on the regular, but maybe here and there. Do I think it was overhyped? Yes. I think it's a good mascara, but I don't think it needed to be this life-changing, overhyped, viral thing. I just think it's a really good mascara. I'm sure you guys could tell that I love the Rare Beauty Mascara. It's very volumizing and it adds some length. This product I didn't see hyped up on the internet. I didn't see it go viral, but it's very popular and I think it deserves it. If you're into high-end mascara, that's great. If not, I think there's plenty of drugstore mascaras that you could use instead, but this was very lovely. The NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip, this was super hyped up. Now it's calmed down, of course, but this was very, very hyped up. I honestly think it deserved the hype. Now again, when it comes to drugstore products, I do think that I'm more lenient on agreeing that they should be hyped up because the drugstore makeup has come a long, long way. And I feel like a lot of drugstore brands are getting very creative and they're getting very competitive in a good way. I believe this deserved the hype. This is gorgeous, it's affordable, the packaging is fun. Okay, the Clarence Natural Lip Perfector. Yes, I'm already gonna say yes. I love this, I kept it on my lips. I was gonna change it back, but I love how creamy this feels on the lips and it's not goopy. So anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and loving and supporting me in everything that I do. I would also love to hear you guys' opinions on how you think these products looked on me or if you guys have tried these products yourselves. I would love to know what you guys think. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.